stakes are high. There's a reason why we're seeing collaboration as a new buzzword. Because more and more businesses are moving into competing on collaboration. Not only having business units as a standalone basis, but having them work together to be faster and better and competing better. There is a conventional wisdom out there that more collaboration in business is a good thing. That you as managers ought to promote more collaboration across businesses, functions, that more is somehow better. That conventional wisdom is dead wrong. There is a right way to collaborate and there is a wrong way. And the challenge before you is to implement the right way to drive effective collaboration that increase financial results. In 2001, Steve Jobs stood on an unassuming stage in the headquarters of Apple in Cupertino and introduced to the world the first iPod. And the rest is history. But ask yourself this question. Which company should have given the world the first iPod? Sony. Sony, right, Sony. So what happened here? It had all the components required to put this product together, but it couldn't do it. Because it was one thing Sony did not have. A culture and a system of collaboration. Discipline collaboration is a way to drive results and get rid of collaboration that doesn't matter. So if you can tear down the barriers, at the same time cultivate T-shaped, you start having a culture and norms around collaboration. Why do we call them T? Why do we use that metaphor? Well, you know, it's because it can do two different things. They have a sharp focus on the individual, the unit they're responsible for, and at the same time, they can work across. They can take information and use it, they can give information expertise to others, and they can join in common products developments. Right? It's that combination we are looking for. And what I've seen in companies that are successful at collaboration, they cultivate T-shaped managers, not lone stars. That is the trick. The goal of collaboration is not collaboration. It is far better financial results. If we keep that in mind, then you can do amazing things. I wish you the best of luck in that journey. Thank you very much.